Let's begin with the solution. And first let us find the HCF of 30. Now we'll find the HCF of 36 and 84 with the help of prime factorization method. First let us find the smallest prime number which divides 18 is 2. So 2 9s are 18. So 3 3s are 9. And finally 3 1s are 3. Since 3 is a prime number. Now let us find the factors of 84. The smallest prime number which divides 84 is 2. And 2 into 42 is 84. Now the smallest prime number which divides 42 is 2. So 2 into 21 is 42. The smallest prime number which divides 21 is 3. 3 7 is 21. And the smallest prime number which divides 7 is 7. So 7 1 is 7. Now 36 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. And 84 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. Now, we have to find the highest common factor, which is the product of their common factors. That is, the product of the common numbers, which are the factors of 36 and 84. Now, the common numbers, which are the factors of 36 and 84 are 2, 2 and 3. So HCF is 2 into 2 into 3, that is the highest of their common factors, which is equal to 12. Thus, highest common factor of 36 and 84 is equal to 12. This completes the E part. Now let us proceed on to the F part, which is 34 and 102. First let us find the factors of 34. Now 2 is the smallest factor which divides, sorry, smallest prime number which divides 34. So 2 into 17 is 34. And 17 is a prime number, so 17 was a 17. Now let us divide 102. 2 is the smallest prime number which divides 102. And 2 into 51 is 102. Now 3 is the smallest prime number which divides 51. 3 into 17 is 51 and 17 is a prime number so 17 was a 17. Thus 34 can be written as 2 into 17 and 102 can be written as 2 into 3 into 17. Now the common factors are 2 and 17. That is the common numbers which are factor of 34 and 102. Thus the HCF which is the highest common factor is 2 into 17 which is equal to 34. Thus our answer is HCF of 34 and 102 is 34. This completes the solution. In this question, we have to find the HCF, that is the highest common factor of the following numbers. Let's begin with the solution. And first let us find the highest common factor of 70, 105 and 175. We will find the highest common factor with the help of prime factorization method. First let us find the factors of 70. Now 2 is the smallest prime number which divides 70 and 2 into 35 is 70. Now 5 is the smallest prime number which divides 35 so 5, 7 is 35 and 7 is the prime number so 7 runs a 7. Now let us find the factors of 105. Now 3 is the smallest prime number which divides 105 and 3 into 35 is 105. Now 5 is the smallest prime number which divides 35, so 5, 7 is a 35 and 7 is a prime number, so 7, 1 is a 7. Now let us find the factors of 175. Now 5 is the smallest prime number which divides 175 and 5 into 35 is 175. Again 5 is the smallest prime number which divides 35, so 5, 7 is a 35 and 7 is a prime number, so 7, 1 is a 7. Thus 70 can be written as 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. 
105 can be written as 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 and 175 can be written as 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. Now the common numbers which are the factors of 70, 105 and 175 are 5 and 7, sorry this one is 7. Since 175 is 5 into 5 into 7. So the common factors are 5 and 7. Thus the HCF is the product of their highest common factors. That is 5 into 7. These are the highest of their common factors which is equal to 35. Thus HCF of 70, 105 and 175 is 35. Now let us proceed on to the next part. 91, 112 and 49. We have to find the highest common factor of these numbers. First let us find the factors of 91. Now 7 is the smallest prime number which divides 91 and 7 into 13 is 91. And 13 is a prime number so 13 ones are 13. Now let us find the factors of 112. 2 is the smallest prime number which divides 112 and 2 into 56 is 112. Again 2 is the smallest prime number which divides 56. 2 into 28 is 56. 2 into 14 is 28 since 2 is the smallest prime number which divides 28. Also 2 into 7 is 14 since 2 is the smallest prime number which divides 14. 7 is a prime number, so 7 ones are 7. Now 49 can be written as 7 into 7, since 7 is the smallest prime number which divides 49, and again 7 ones are 7. Now 91 can be written as 7 into 13. 112 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7. And 49 can be written as 7 multiplied by 7. Now, the common number which is the factor of 91, 112 and 49 is 7. Thus, HCF of 91, 112 and 49 is 7. That is the highest of the common factors. This completes the solution. In this question, we have to find the HCF of the following numbers. Let's begin with the solution. And first we will find the HCF of 18, 54 and 81. With the help of prime factorization method, now the smallest prime number which divides 18 is 2, so 2, 9 is 18. The smallest prime number which divides 9 is 3, so 3, 3 is a 9. And the smallest prime number which divides 3 is 1, sorry 3, so 3, 1 is a 3. Thus 18 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now let us find the factors of 54. 2 is the smallest prime number which divides 54. And 2 into 27 is 54. Now 3 is the smallest prime number which divides 27. 3 9 is a 27. Again 3 is the smallest prime number which divides 9. So 3 3 is a 9. nine. And 3 is a prime number. So 3 1 is a 3. Thus 54 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3. Multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now let us find the factors of 81. Now. 3 is the smallest prime number which divides 81 and it divides 81 27 times. Now, 3 is the smallest prime number which divides 27. So, 3, 9 is a 27. Now, 3 is the smallest prime number which divides 9. So, 3, 3 is a 9. And finally, 3, 1 is a 3. So, we have 3, 3 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3. Now, the common numbers which are the factors of 18, 54 and 81 are 3, 
and one more three. HCF is the highest of their common factors. So this is equal to three into three, which is equal to nine. Thus our answer is HCF of eighteen, fifty four, and eighty one is nine. This completes our solution. Now let us proceed on to the next part, which is twelve forty five. And seventy-five. Here we have to find the HCF of these three numbers. First, let us find the factors of twelve. Two is the smallest prime number which divides twelve, and two six is twelve. Again, two is the smallest prime number which divides six, so two three is six, and finally three is the prime number, so three one is three. Prime numbers are divisible by itself or by one. That's why three one is three. Now let us find the factors of forty-five. Now three is the smallest prime number which divides forty-five, and three into fifteen is forty-five. Again, three is the smallest prime number which divides fifteen, so three five is the fifteen. Five is a prime number, so five and the five. It is divisible by itself or by one. Now let us find the factors of seventy-five. Now the smallest prime number which divides seventy-five is five. No. The smallest prime number which divides seventy-five is three. So first we will divide seventy-five with the three. That is three into twenty-five is seventy-five. Now five is the smallest prime number which divides twenty-five. So five five is the twenty-five. Now five being a prime number is divisible by itself or by one. So five one is a five. Now twelve can be written as two multiplied by two multiplied by three. Forty-five can be written as three multiplied by three multiplied by five, and seventy-five can be written as three multiplied by five multiplied by five. Now the common factor is three. That is the number which is common in the factors of twelve, forty-five, and seventy-five is three, which is the HCF. That is the highest of their common factors. Thus, our answer is HCF of twelve, forty-five, and seventy-five is three. This completes the solution.